Hey, what's going on my sexy people? Thanks for joining me once again for another YouTube video. Again, it's another Rainbow Six video, but uh, I haven't really released anything recently unless it's been streams for my high class gaming. So if you're checking this out, thank you. I do appreciate it. So this video here is just some knock plays that I have, uh, you know, that I've been executing since the new operator came out. The first map obviously is... Uh, uh, is a casual map and then because this isn't in ranked anymore but the second one is a ranked match so check it out let me know what you think and uh let's get sexy we're gonna fuck up some shit all right so they're currently defending in the basement right now so you know you can attack through the doors or you know try and go through the wall like everyone does <clears throat> But me, being smart, I decided, hey, I'm going to try attack through a hatch because, you know, they probably didn't reinforce this hatch and most of the time when you attack from above, it's a surprise and you actually gain an advantage, right? So obviously I throw my um, drone in, as you can see there's a mute, and he destroys my drone, which is, you know, it sucks for me because then I can't, like, keep tagging him, I don't know where he is. So now I have to spend the next, you know, 30 seconds or so actually trying to find him. Uh, and me personally, is I like to line up my shots, I'm not just gonna like, you're gonna see I notice him for a second, and then, but I'm not gonna just fire, because I don't want to give away my position, I want him to think that I move, right? So I'm not gonna just like, fire and hope I hit him. Uh, again, I, and I turn on the knock ability here, or the nook ability here, um, and because it's silent, right? So then when you're like, crouching around, he doesn't hear you above. So then I run down the hallway. I didn't notice this cap can. I notice it now in the video. Um, so then the fucker comes back. I managed to knife him. Crazy. Blew myself up with a cap can. Knifed the mute, which was awesome. But uh, yeah, so then uh, now I'm just looking for the last person here. And um, which at this point is an echo. Ah, there you go. See, look. Now I'm noticing all these cap cans that'll blow me up and kill my ass. Uh, so the last one's actually an Echo, but I don't know this until just now where uh, he killed the Montang, so. Alright. Oh, man. That could have killed me. So basically what I'm doing with this Breach Charge is I'm trying to lure him out, right? So I'm hitting the door open from one side, blowing a Breach Charge. I'm going to blow another Breach Charge, like... Uh, that sort of thing is I try and create a lot of noise from different areas so he doesn't know where I'm attacking from. Secure the room. Protect the bio and obviously with it being an echo, I'm not a counter to echo, but a counter because then when he brings out his drone, he can't see where I am, so he has to run into the room blindly, right? So like, there you go, see? So with his drone, oh man, I almost did not make that, guys. Alright, so that's the first clip there. Alright, so this round here, guys, this is actually the first round in a uh, ranked match on Shelley, and I believe this is the, yeah, this is the new season with the banning and all that fun stuff, uh, and at this point, uh, Clash was still banned, um, IQ had just been recently unbanned because of the IQ Claymore glitch, uh, so they fixed that so IQ was unbanned, but Clash was still banned because of the Clash shield gun bullshit cheater glitch. <clears throat> uh, I hate glitches like that. Like, you know, the ones where you can jump up on a shield and hide on a shelf. Well, whatever. Anyone can do that. But the ones where you're, like, shooting through a shield, that's just super, like, are you, do you have, are you that bad at the game that you have to cheat to win? Like, it's just awful. So anyway, so this is the first round. Um, and when Nook came out, I didn't really play her too much because... Uh, everyone wanted to play her, right? So I didn't play her a whole lot because I didn't want to have to fight for playing her and, you know, all that stuff because it gets annoying, right? When you're like, oh, well, I want to play Nook and... Anyway, so now I'm just rambling. So in this one, there are obviously in the basement. So this one actually is my first uh, Nook Ace, which I'm actually very proud of. Uh, and I noticed a couple times where I could have done better when I was re-watching this video, but I got an ace with it, and I actually won the round, so I'm not going to complain and say, oh, I should have done better there. Uh, so on Chalet, this is always how I attack. I start over at uh, the West Vehicle Entrance, I think it is, um, you know, far off, and then um, I will not always start out droning, 
but sometimes I do. Uh, sometimes I also do this with an alibi, but I basically rush. Uh, where I'll go in. These are these are actually drone spots that I use. So I'll put one in this hallway here. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah. I got my drone. So I usually put it up on top of the pipe, and then that's where I like watch that hallway from, right? So then uh, the other one where I put it in the like wine room. That's where I actually put it. So now I'm just like waiting a bit because Ella was just there, right? So I don't want to. I don't want to have her shoot me in the face because she probably has a shotgun. So again, like the last video, blowing up a breach charge to distract them, pull them away from me, uh, jump in with my nook sensor. Now I'm going to run down the stairs, um, once I clear it obviously, and run down the stairs and then I'm going to try shooting people inside OBJ from that hallway. Now the reason I also like Alibi here is, or not Alibi, sorry guys, uh, Nomad is because then I can place my Nomad air jabs uh, on the stairs to protect me, right? So no one's going to sneak up behind me. Uh, always check this little corner if you're going to this hallway because I hide in that corner. It's a good little spot to hide, especially with a shotgun. If you have Ella with the Ella mines, like you can stun them. So watch. So I go in. There's a Cade. Got the Cade. And then, you know, pull back. So, <laughs> so at this point, I'm still trying to jump up on the shelf, but I didn't realize at this point that I need to destroy both those wooden shelves to jump up on the, the sink. Not the shelf, to jump up on the sink you need to destroy both wooden shelves. So that's why I was trying to jump up there. So you know, Ella came down behind me. And then, uh, so, gonna play this a little bit slowly guys. Obviously, because I don't want to just rush in and die. Cause if you rush in and die, well, then you're not going to get a sweet-ass ace like I did, right? Um, and it's actually a really... It's a good ace, too, because I'm the last person alive. So, like, it's definitely, like, play of the game, save the team sort of thing. So, you know. Um, so, actually, over in... I'm not sure if you guys spotted it, but in the little wine cellar room that I'm currently looking at, I did see a Maestro's Elbow. I didn't see it at this point. See, now I see it. So, I kill the Maestro. Reload. Turn around. There's a Valk. Turn back around, double checking. And then turn around and BOOM! There's the last guy! That was my Nook Ace. Oh, oh, to, to Nook just Ace? Why, yes. Yes, I, yes, I think I fucking did. Oh, beautiful work. All right, guys. So this is the uh, final clip I have here. Uh, so this one here isn't any special like Nook plays or whatever. This is I just get two kills here. Um, but the reason I'm including this clip is because I managed to go six and zero. Oh, for the whole game so I get no deaths and I was pretty proud of that so plus again it's some nook play so that's what this is about just including different clips on how you can best utilize nook right because nook is is an anti roamer but she's also like a, a roamer hunter because she's so quiet you can sneak onto objective I personally like to roam around get some kills try and eliminate like a cav a vigil you know the pulse all those sorts of things because I want to make sure once my team gets the objective, they're not going to get flanked, right? So that's what I use her as, is like a roamer hunter. Um, right, attacking different angles, those, as you guys can see, right? So, but not always. In the ace, I attack point directly, right? So it depends on the map, how I'm, like, attacking. But, so for this one, I am doing, like, a roamer hunter. So for outback, I always attack pretty much the exact same place, right? Uh, and in any map, you should have routes. You should have patterns where you're attacking the same spot, so you are good at it. You get better at that same spot over and over. So, <clears throat> if, you know, if, for example, you jump in that same route, and you notice there's a wall broken or something, then you're like, you know, you notice that something's different, right? But you also want to choose routes that aren't going to land you directly in enemy fire. So when I come in, I always check behind that fridge, because that's where I hide, is behind that fridge. Oh, that cav. So yeah, hiding here, cav runs in, instantly gets headshotted, gets a blipped. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming this guy was trying to nitro-sell me. I don't know why he was trying to nitro-sell me, but 
Um, yeah, so end up killing him. And then I run up, grab the diffuser, and I'm going to plant on objective. Now this Valkyrie ends up killing two more of my teammates here while I'm planting. Uh, and Habana does get her, but Nook is really good for this because it's a Valkyrie, so I'm assuming she has cameras here. But instead of looking for them, I'm just going to hide and use my Nook ability to stay invisible, right? So, so yeah, so that's basically my other Nook play is I just am sneaky, get some kills, and that's it. So that's the new video guys, that's all I wanted to show you, a couple different plays, a couple different attacks, so I do appreciate you guys checking it out and watching it, I hope you guys liked the video, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, that's all I got for you now, I'm going to try and release some more videos, but uh, as usual, let's stay sexy.